Nowadays, uh, robots have been becoming part of our daily life. They are used for countless applications, for example, educational field to experiment navigation and manipulation of objects. We see it in uh, expo, exhibition, while they are interacting with us. They are designed to simplify our life. For example, the Roomba robot is mapping our house and clean it. In industry, they perform alienating tasks like pick and place, and we can find also in some nice pizzeria where they are able to make a real pizza exerting very good capabilities in manipulation. And if you want to raise the bar, we can meet Discovery, the robot designed by NASA to work in harsh conditions like Mars. Regardless the application that you might have and the aspect, for better understanding these fascinating machineries, you should first ask this simple question. What are the features that make a robot so special? Well, we can simplify by saying that uh, this is a machine that is a result of the perfect marriage between three engineering fields, mechanics, electronics, and computer science. If you want to make a comparison with us, humans, we can say that the mechanics is our locomotory system, our muscle. Thanks to that we can walk or do whatever moving you want. Then we have the electronics represented by circuit board that can be compared with our nerves and our blood circuits. And finally, we have computer science, which is our brain. So, working with computer science simply means that you want to design the brain of the robot itself. And if you think, the brain commands everything. It processes data coming from the external environment thanks to our sense, gives commands to our muscles to perform certain kind of actions, and so on and so forth. So, as recap, a mechatronic machine, in order to be considered a robot, it has to have minimum these three ingredients, perception, decision making and action. The perception is how a robot perceives the environment and it can be done with a camera, for example, LiDAR laser, microphone to hear the environment, or any transducer, as long as it can translate external data to electrical signal. Once all the sensors have collected all the data from the environment, a set of algorithms programmed in language like Python or C++ elaborate this data and decide what the robot has to do afterwards, depending on his goal. And finally we have the action, where the actuators receive the data from the program and perform its task. And now it comes the most difficult part. How could you combine all these three ingredients in a scalable way? And for explaining scalable, we can have a comparison with the Arduino board that you might be already experienced on. If you already have some experience with Arduino, you should realize that it is suitable to perform a very easy task where no more than two up to five, let's say, sensors have been implemented. This is because the C program embedded in the firmware of the circuit board is not designed to process a lot of data and of different type at the same time. And if you are seeing this beautiful robot that is going to cook a pasta or a good meal, you can think easily that it's really impossible to perform it with an Arduino. So another solution might be to ask to your supplier and buy a commercial robot and use their embedded software, which is totally fine, but it has a drawback that most likely 
you have to pay a license and another drawback is that if you want to change some robotic feature you have to force to ask it to your supplier and basically you are locked in losing your freedom to deploy any improvement that you might think without spending money upfront. At this point you could be very upset and you might be asking is there a better way to deploy a robotic application? Well, there is and the solution is called ROS which stands for Robot Operating System. Don't let the name fool you, it is not a real operating system, but it's a framework that runs in a Linux that allows you to program robot application in a scalable way. ROS is free and open source software that contains already all the information you need to use components, interface and tools for building advanced robots. ROS helps you to build the perception, the decision-making and the hardware interface with actuators. All these components interact with each other thanks to topics and messages. The most useful feature is that the architecture is modular, meaning that allows developers to build robots without vendor locked in so instead of developing the inverse kinematics algorithm for your robot, which you might know already that involves a lot of complication mathematics and algebra calculation, you can use a pre-built package developed from others out of the shell, saving you a lot of time and mental resources. So, learning ROS is about learning to understand packages, knowing how to use them, how to subscribe to data coming from other packages and how these packages publish messages. So, as in the ROS official sites, the approach allows you to not reinvent the world and keep you focused on your robot application. And finally, thanks to this amazing tool and amazing framework, you're gonna design and construct a very complicated robot application. So coming back to the most important part of robot design, the computer science part, and most in particular the code. So which kind of program language should I use? Well, here's come the funny part. Ross is a language agnostic, meaning that you can work with any programming language. Thanks to this important feature, you can deploy your robot application using C++ or Python. Because uh, this amazing framework is not relied on a particular program language. On the first hand, ROS might be very complicated. But don't panic, because there are a lot of developers, a community out there, that share their experience and knowledge for free. This is the power of an open source mindset. If you want to develop amazing robots, create a robot's brain and use these skills to improve in your industrial process, get rid of expenses lessons and master your career, this is the channel for you. And ROS is definitely the smartest choice that you could make. Thanks to a step-by-step -step approach, you will learn from the basics up to design of a six-axis robot that picks up objects and places them in a blister. This is just one of the many features that you will learn together. If you think that you took value from this video, Subscribe to the channel and put a comment down below in case you need the clarification. I just have to wish you a welcome on board and let's kick off in the next video.